Welcome to video 160 in series 3 and this is going to be a very quick video where I edit the Golem controller. Okay, so what I want to do is to edit this Golem controller. Currently from struct to idle the transition is just based on an exit time. I want to get rid of that because as you know inside of the state pattern script I have here that uh, when the uh, NPC recovers they will call an event called a uh, call event npc so it's event npc recovered anim and that will result in a animation trigger being called and that animation trigger is uh, called recovered which you know which is on the npc master script and uh, you just wrote the script in the previous video uh, which has the method for causing this trigger to be called and by doing so so the whole point of that is to prevent the npc from being able to just transition from struck to idle um, and even though you strike it again it would still just transition to idle so you know the npc can't be remain in the struck state so what i want is that when you hit the npc and you if you hit them again or any other npc hits them it causes them to stay in the struck state which uh, seems to make sense uh, okay so in order to do that i just have to add a new parameter i'm going to add a trigger here and that trigger is called recovered. Be careful with the spelling because, of course, it must exactly match the string that we use on the NPC master script. Now, if we go here, it will no longer be uh, based on an exit time. And I need to add a condition. So that's what it's telling me here. It's warning me that um, it doesn't make sense like that. And yes, I want a fixed duration. And yeah, I guess 0.25 is fine. And really, it just... Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I can say uh, transition offset. All right, I see that. So I want to set that down to just a, a plain zero. So that way, uh, the uh, I guess it just uh, happens as quick as possible. And the uh, oops, and the 0.25 means 0.25. So a quarter of the way uh, through the struck animation, it will transition into idle. That is once it gets the uh, command, the uh, the uh, the trigger to move into the idle animation. So if we set that to 1, then the whole struck animation would have to play until it goes into the idle, and that's just too long and is not worth our time. Okay, uh, so that is pretty much it, and uh, if we just hit play, nothing, we won't get to see anything happen. Uh, we can't actually uh, strike the NPC either. I suppose what I could do is I could hit the, uh, oops, I hit the wrong trigger, I should have hit the struck trigger so let me just do that again hit struck okay and if I hit recovered okay and they get up again and that's it so that's our I guess our uh, extremely primitive way of debugging that so they're not going to get out of the state until uh, the recovered trigger is set is uh, called so once I hit that trigger okay and now they get up and they get up nice and smooth and quick All right, so let's just hit apply here and just make sure that we've saved all the changes to uh, this uh, uh, this uh, prefab. And uh, I guess that's it. So I'll uh, see you in the next video.